FTP. We are going to use uh, FTP as a mechanism of transferring files on and off of the Raspberry Pi. Now there are two modes that ProFTP can run in. One is standalone mode and one is INETD mode. People will probably say that we should be running this in INETD mode because it's less resource intensive, but actually looking at it, um, I find that standalone doesn't, mode doesn't actually take too much resource. So we're going to continue with this version, um, really because I couldn't get INETD demo to work and standalone just seem to work very easily. Okay, so we start by running the command sudo apt get installed pro FTPD and it's going to pull down the relevant package. We then get prompted with the message do we want to run in INETD or standalone mode. So obviously we're going to choose standalone mode because that's the version I managed to get working. Um, if anybody can get the INETD mode working, I'm more than happy to uh, see how people have managed to achieve that. Okay, once this is finished, you will get a, um, a message to the screen saying that the FTP server um, pro FTP is started. We can run the command sudo service pro FTPD status and it will tell us that it's running and what mode it's running in. We can then um, run the command top and we can have a look when it's sitting idle. Um, you won't be able to see the service there because it's not actually taking up much resource, which is a good thing. Um, if we then run the command um, ps minus aux and then grep for proftpd, we can then see the service ID and the fact that it's accepting connections, and um, we can see that it is running in the background. So if we start up a standard command prompt on um, Windows and run ftp and then type in the IP address of our server and type in our username pi and our password, we will see that if we then run the command ls, we can see a directory listing, which in there I've got scripts, GPIO, and desktop folders. And I can change into the desktop directory and have a look, and at the moment that's an empty directory. So I type quit to exit out and back to our Windows environment. So if we want to create a custom welcome message so that we know we're connecting to the correct um, server, we can run the command sudo nano slash etc slash pro ftpd slash proftpd.conf. So we're going to edit this uh, conf file. And if we look for where it says the server name, and under that we're going to add the line server ident on, and then we're going to um, put in speech marks, whatever message you want. So the message I'm going to put is, this is my FTP server, you are not welcome. Okay, so we're just going to um, save that file, and then we're going to quickly need to restart the FTP services. So we run the command sudo, oh, sudo services pro ftpd restart, and we wait for the services stop and to start. And again, if we open up a um, command prompt. And we FTP to the server of our um, the IP address of our Pi. We get the custom message. Okay, so we log in as usual, and everything works fine. Okay, so on the Windows side of things, we change into the directory that we want to um, get files from. I'm going to have a folder on my desktop called Test Files. And in there, there's a file called camera.jpg. Okay, so again, we can see my um, custom message is there. I'm going to log in with Pi, my username, and my password as normal. And then if I do a directory list ring, we can see that we have my three um, directories on my Pi. I'm going to change into the desktop of my Pi. And then I'm going to run the command um, bin to put the file transfer in binary mode. And they're going to type hash so that we get hashes for every bit of data that's transferred over. Um, if I run the command um, exclamation and then dir, it will show me the directory listings on the Windows machine. And then if I run the command put camera.jpg and hit enter, it will transfer that file. If we then go back to our Pi, we can see now that the um, JPEG file has been transferred onto the desktop of my Raspberry Pi. And if we um, open that up in um, uh, image viewer of our choice, 
Just go for the standard image viewer. We can see that that file has been transferred onto the box. So hopefully most people will be familiar with the basic um, commands of FTP and um, should be able to work from here. And hope this has been a useful video.